Hello there, and welcome to Module 4. This week, we're shifting gears a little bit. In the last module, we took a deep dive into warm demander pedagogy and wise feedback. Now, those topics were really focused on creating an inclusive learning environment through instructor to student interactions. This week, we're focusing on interactions again, but we're now shifting to student to student interactions. And specifically, we wanna be thinking intentionally about how and why student interactions play a big role in building community. So you'll be looking into some of the science behind interactions in college um, that really starts to unveil the way that we can intentionally use culture responsive teaching approaches to ensure that student-student interactions actually mitigate that sense of psychological threat that's a barrier for so many students and at the same time build community. Now, my experience is working with faculty uh, when faculty who teach online think about community and talk about community. It's a goal. It's something that they really want to experience with their students in their class, but it doesn't happen so easily. And I think one of the reasons is because we tend to focus squarely on the interactions, plop a discussion forum in there and expect it to just flourish. And we have now mindfully through the academy been focusing on the learning conditions. And now we're getting to the interactions and that's the way to go. You're gonna be digging into empathy and storytelling in this module as well. And that falls into the category of cult a culturally responsive teaching approach. Zaretta Hammond, who is referenced throughout the Academy, she's the author of Culturally Responsive Teaching in the Brain, has a fantastic metaphor that has been really helpful for me. She talks about the brain, the brain as being hardware. It's like the computer and culture is like the operating system or the software. And sometimes as teachers, we just think about giving our students information and expecting the brain to process it, but we don't think about the fact that that culture influences the way information is processed. So the way we frame the information can really play an important role in motivating and engaging learners from culturally diverse backgrounds. And so that'll be a part of this module. You'll have an opportunity to share some ideas for interactions with your peers in a flip. And, drum roll, you are going to be creating one student to student interaction activity in your sandbox using the Flip Canvas LTI. I want you to take a deep breath as you head into it. There are a lot of instructions. Um, it's really not that hard, but we want to acknowledge that for some folks, it can be a lot. So you have a lot of support. The folks, the wonderful folks at TMI are here to support you in addition to Suzanne and I. Um, so please know that and please reach out to TMI if you feel like you need a little bit of additional support. Just keep that in mind as you head into this week and make some time and space for that assignment. After you have it integrated into your sandbox, you're actually going to record a screencast or a video tour of it. And we want you to frame that video tour in a way that it can be put right into your humanizing showcase at the end of the academy. So keep that in mind. We've got some tips in the assignments. It'll be a big time saver so you, that you don't have to record another video later on. So that's it for now. Oh, one more thing. Before you wrap up this week, we'll ask you to find a student to interview next week, and that'll be a fun way to get you prepared and in shape for the start of the next module and save a little bit of time then as well. So um, it'll be a student who's taken at least one entirely asynchronous online college course. Okay, so think about that and um, doesn't have to be a student now. Former student is fine. That's it. Have a great week and we'll see you online.